Hey, I'm Chip Foose and we're here at Foose Design. Today, I want to talk about one of the most influential revolutionary cars of the 1980s. That's right, the Dodge Caravan and the Plymouth Voyager. Back in 2018, Haggerty writer Andrew Newton dubbed the Caravan Voyager the greatest vehicle of the 1980s. Sure, there are more exciting cars from that era, but these minivans changed how people shop for their cars and how they packed for their road trips. No other vehicle made such big waves, even if they weren't the most exciting waves. And today, I want to revisit this icon and see if we can't refresh it for our own purposes. It's interesting when I look at this vehicle and it just looks so simple. There's not a lot of frills. There was nothing that was extra on this vehicle. And I heard that uh, the design parameters was it needed to fit into a uh, regular size garage. It, they wanted a lower floor and they wanted the vehicle to be as quiet and comfortable as a standard road car. It's just so simple and elegant and it made sense. And look what it did for Chrysler. But uh, today, this is not the vehicle I would want to drive. So let's see if we can make it something I would drive. The first thing that I'm thinking is, you know, if, if I had one of these minivans, what would I do to make it exciting? And the first thing I'm thinking is, let's, let's just cut the roof off of it. And I might even just sketch right over top of this. You know, I could cut that pillar, come across here, come through the window area, cut the A-post, make that windshield a little shorter. So what I'm looking at is maybe we make this a, uh, it could be an off-road or a lower down vehicle. Maybe it's a, a surf vehicle, but maybe no top at all. Cut down the side glass, leave a little bit of this, move a door handle up in this area. Uh, we definitely got to play around with this grill, but we could also lift it up and make it an off-road vehicle. Maybe there's a roll bar that comes up in through here. Actually, I'm just going to overlay this. Be easy. Well, what I'm doing here is I'm overlaying it because I want to see how nice can we make this vehicle look if we actually use the real lines on it instead of, you know, it's, it's easy to just draw something and make it really wild looking, but I want to see if we can make this caravan actually look kind of cool. So I'm using the real lines by, by overlaying here. Well, if I were going to repurpose this vehicle, I think I'd cut the top off, open it up so it's more like a, uh, shall we say, a Bronco, where it's you can walk through the whole cabin. And I think because Jeep is in the Chrysler family, maybe we put a whole Jeep chassis underneath it. So we're just taking the body of this uh, Chrysler minivan, and I'm going to put some big, heavy Nerf bars, push bar, uh, wench, all the fun stuff so we could take this minivan. And now it's not the soccer mom's car. It's the mountain man's car. Well, we've got a line drawing done. We're going to start throwing a little marker work at this. 
But uh, it's interesting to me that the same gentleman that introduced us to the Mustang is the gentleman that introduced us to the, mini, the minivan here. Lee Iacocca, when he was at Ford, he was arguing that they should shift to a front-wheel drive system like the Europeans did. And not very successful there. When he went to Chrysler, the minivan was already in the works, but he was able to talk them into the front-wheel drive system there that we've just eliminated to go with the Jeep underpinions on this vehicle. That's a pretty big feather in your cap when you're responsible for two new market segments, one being the Mustang, the second one being the minivan and such different vehicles. Hats off to you, Lee. Well, if we're going to repurpose one of these minivans, I think we just did it. It doesn't look much like a caravan, but it does look like a lot of fun. All right, well, as you can see, we got rid of the top, but we've got a cool shape around the windshield and the side glass. I went ahead and extended that pillar when it came up, gave it a little bit of an angle, and put the door handle right behind that. Added the roll bar, all the lights. We've got a uh, winch behind the front bumper. We've got these push bars. Um, we've got some steps on the side and of course what i'm doing is keeping in the chrysler family putting a complete jeep underpinion underneath this thing and uh, i just kind of indicated where the seats are but you'd open it up and have some other seats in there so if you want to buy a minivan for about two grand maybe five hundred dollars i don't know what you can get them for right now but uh, you can do that go ahead and spend a you know another hundred thousand on all the drivetrain and everything but uh, you're going to have a fun vehicle and i'll guarantee you you're not going to see another one on the road I hope you like what I did with the caravan, and I want to thank Pep Boys for sponsoring this Haggerty show and helping car lovers go further since 1921.